what is poverty? Poverty is about not having enough money to meet their basic needs including food, clothing and shelter. However, poverty much more than just not having enough money. Current statistics indicates that nearly half of the world's uh, population lives in poverty. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fidaus bin Zulfi and today our group will be discussing a topic about the cause of poverty in Malaysia and its effect to the society. One of the causes that makes poverty exist was because the country is, is poor. There is a certain theory about poverty called theory of vicious cycle of poverty. This theory was proposed by an Estonian economist named Ragnar Ness. In this theory, he stated that poverty basically exists due to the country's condition itself. If the country is underdeveloped and financially unstable, poverty shall exist within it. Due to this condition also, more people from the from the lower class who was originally originally belongs to the agriculture sector migrates from the countryside to cities in order to change their current income. This situation for sure occurs because the country is poor and that is specifically why poverty still prevails in Malaysia. According to this country, a circular relationship portrays both the demand and supply side of the problem of the capital formation of economically underdeveloped countries. Therefore, in order to break the limitation of being a low-income and underdeveloped country, they are urged to invest in their market expansion. Only then, this cycle will be eliminated. It is also the same for Malaysia. In attempt for our, our country to move forward, the government must set their priority accordingly. Only then, the poverty problems could be solved. That's all from me. I'll pass for, uh, to the next presenters. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Irfan Ahmad Ishraq bin Ismawi. My student ID is 2020853542. Now, we know poverty exists because of the country is poor. So, we need to get in depth into the topic where we discover and find out what are the effects of this problem to the society. One of the many effects of poverty to the society is that it leads to broken family. According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia in 2020, the percentage of people living in absolute poverty has risen to 8.4% which is an increase from 5.6% in 2019. This indicates that the rate of hardline poverty has risen to 1%, up from 0.4% affecting more, se more than 78,000 households. Not to mention that household earnings have also dropped with 20% of M40 households switching to B40 group and 12.8% of T20 households switching to M40 group. Furthermore, the income distribution of B40 and M40 households fell to 15.9 and 36.9% respectively in 2019. It left us with T20 households which possess the majority of the income distribution by 47.2% which is an increase by 0.4% in 2020 compared to 2019. In terms of family relationship, poverty causes the family to not be happy because it can lead to parents getting divorced or having endless arguments due to lack of money, basic needs, and basic necessity, especially for a family with many children. This actually brings us to the next effects of poverty, which is poverty exposes children to many risks that have lifelong implication. One of the impact of poverty to a child is the persistence of malnutrition rate which is caused by the lack of basic and healthy diet. It is shown in a study by UNICEF on child poverty in urban Kuala Lumpur in 2018 where 
52% of the underprivileged family did not have enough money to provide food consistently in recent months, while 15% experienced this regularly. Moreover, poverty stunned the growth of child educationally due to affordability. They are the children who sacrifice their education just to provide something to the family so that they can survive until the end of the day. This situation identified as the main problem of inadequate preschool and upper secondary enrollment rates. From this situation, it may result to the children to have difficult time finding a job to support their family when they grow up and basically brings further the poverty down the line. On the other hand, some family may cope with this problem by allowing child marriage where mostly they married off their daughter to a more established and financially stable adult just to ease the burden and get support financially for their family. That is all from me. I will pass the microphone to the next presenter. Other effect of poverty is corruption has still been ongoing in Malaysia. Corruption is a dishonest or fraudulent activities conducted by those in power, typically involving bribery. It is illegal in all of the countries because it is not fair for those who work hard to get their goals. According to Transparency International, or called as TI, rate of corruption cases are increasing in Malaysia, which made Malaysia in the rank of 57 out of 180 nations last year. Next, corruption is usually will be deal in the private place where they cannot get caught. The business is usually about getting rid of another rivals in the project so that they can get the project easily. Furthermore, corruption as a side income for those worker that does not have enough money to survive and to support their family because their income is little. The customer will offer amount of money that will make the dealer agree to do the corruption. The dealer who is the worker will do the job quietly without getting right-handed by their superiors. In addition, people who is greedy will usually get caught up in the corruption because they are too obsessed with money, status, and also property. Even people who are working for the government also do, do, do the corruption because they are not care about the law. Besides that, politicians are also often do the corruption because they want to win the elections. They are going to bribe the insiders who are in charge of the election and win the elections easily. So we need to prevent poverty so that the corruption can be curbed, especially among the government employees. Okay, I will go to the next effects, which is the nationwide closures of schools will have an adverse impact on their learning progress. Okay, here is a uh, supporting details. Uh, I will go to point one, uh, which is due to a lack of economical, economical information and communications technology equipment and internet connectivity, causing the children's ability to learn via e-learning or online classes because become limited. Okay, from point one, as we know, not everyone can afford internet access or smart, a smartphone. Because of this, uh, some underprivileged or students cannot come to online classes. This will be detrimental to the development of our country in the future, or because uh, the young generation of today of today is not able to pursue knowledge knowledge well. I will go to the next point. 
most uh, most Malaysian uh, students have lost hard educational progress due to school closures extending more than 40 weeks because of a shortage of digital uh, device uh, or internet access about 40% of students have been un have been unable to engage in online classes okay from this second point due to the closure of the school because to the covid factor also which uh, last 40 weeks of closure cause many students to miss a lot of things in the lesson some of them have a uh, very poor in access internet so sometimes what the teacher teach uh, they cannot he cannot hear clearly this will disrupt the learning process of students thus lowering the spirit of students to study diligently for third point Many who could connect found learning online suboptimal. Certain groups of children are at higher risk of worse educational outcomes. Okay, from uh, third point, uh, stu student, uh, we know students who usually have trouble studying online are students among poverty, students with uh, disabilities, students who are in areas with uh, slow internet. Uh, internet lines such as Sabah and Sarawak and so on. This will increase the burden of those who live in rural areas uh, or have less internet access.